Welcome to my video on the distance formula. In this video we're going to go through a few examples on how to find the distance between two points on a graph. In front of you here is the distance formula and you can see that there is a big square root and then a bunch of stuff underneath the square root and that's how you find the distance between two points. D is what we'll use to represent the distance. Now all of this stuff underneath the radical is basically just a fancy way of representing the Pythagorean theorem and maybe if I have some time later I'll show you how that works but what you're doing here is you're taking the difference between the x's squaring it and adding that to the difference between the y's squared and then you're taking that sum and taking the square root of it so let's go through a couple examples here. I'll show you what these subscripts mean. All right, the first thing that I do when I see a problem is I immediately label my points x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. All right, that'll help me to sort of make some sense of this distance formula. And then I might graph them. So let me put the blue point 1, 2 right here and the red point negative 4 comma 5 up here. So your job is to find the distance between these two. How far is that? All right, and sometimes it's a nice integer but most times it'll be either a decimal or if you want to represent it as a radical that would be more exact. But here we go, let's find the distance. We'll call it lowercase d, we'll throw a big square root and the general shell of this formula has that format. All right, two parentheses with subtractions inside of them, square outside of them, and a plus sign in between them. Now this right here is going to be x sub 2, which is negative 4, minus x sub 1, which is positive 1. Right here is y sub 2, and right here is y sub 1 which is positive 2 and we're just going to simplify so we have negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5 5 minus 2 is 3 simplify one more time negative 5 squared is 25 3 squared is 9 now be careful when you if you're using your calculator for some of these these calculations if you type in negative 5 squared into your calculator, some of your calculators might give you negative 25. And that's just a syntax issue with your calculator. You might need to actually put parentheses around that to let your calculator know that it's the negative 5 that's being squared, not the positive 5 that's being squared, and then it'll, it'll negate it. But just be careful of that. And you just know that negative times a negative is a positive. So. In any event, we have the square root of 34. And that is your distance. All right, that's the distance between the red and the blue points, the square root of 34. And I don't have a calculator in front of me, but I can. I know that the square root of 36 is 6, and the square root of 25 is 5. So this answer is approximately equal to, I would say, about 5.8 units. So that's how the distance formula works. Now there are a couple variations that you can sort of use here. Uh, if you wanted to, instead of using this exact order, you can you can put the uh, y x sub one here and the x sub two here. If you do that on the left hand side, you have to do it the same order over here, two minus five. So if you start with the x's or if, excuse me, the ones, the subscripts ones, one minus two, you have to go one minus two, and you'll get the same answer. Just keep your consistency in terms of the order, because the subtraction order matters inside of those parentheses, so be careful. Number two. All right. X sub one, Y sub one, X sub two, y sub 2. Let's graph them negative 3 comma 4. 
negative five comma six is up here. So we're trying to find this really small little distance between those two points. So let's see if we can do this here. Let's go distance formula. This might be a good one to show the Pythagorean theorem for in a second. We'll set up our shell of our distance formula. It's gonna be the same every time. I like to put that there so I don't forget my parentheses. And this time I'll go, you can, you can even start with the y's over here uh, because this plus sign is, is commutative, it doesn't matter. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, maybe, well, actually, no, I won't. Just I don't wanna confuse you too much. I'll go negative five, which is x sub two minus x sub one x sub 1 is negative 3. I started with the x sub 2, so I need to start with the y sub 2, which is 6 minus 4. And we'll simplify negative 5 minus negative 3, that's negative 2. 6 minus 4 is positive 2. Simplify, we get the square root of 4 plus 4 which is the square root of 8. The square root of 8 can be simplified down into the square root of 4 times 2, which can be separated into these two roots multiplied together. The square root of 4 is 2, get rid of the square root sign, and the radical 2 stays. So this distance is 2 radical 2. That's the most simplified exact version of it. Uh, if you're one of my students, I'm going to really s sort of emphasize and, and encourage you to use these exact values rather than just typing this into your calculator and getting a decimal. I'd, I'd prefer that you use exact values. And on tests, I'll be really clear about exactly what I'm looking for. But that's how you find that. Now, if you wanted to use the Pythagorean theorem, uh, here's what it would look like. You would basically want to create a little right triangle out of these two points. All right, and the distance between here and here is y sub 2 minus y sub 1. That's the difference in the y direction. And the distance in the x direction is x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And to find that hypotenuse, c, you would just simply go a squared plus b squared equals c squared c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared and this would represent our a and this would represent our b and as you can see a is essentially just the distance or excuse me the differences in the y coordinates and b represents the difference in the x coordinates and you would get the same answer so the distance formula is really just a sort of a transformed version of the Pythagorean theorem. Let's try the last one. Here we're just given a graph. So let's see, we have this point is 2 comma negative 2 and this point over here is 5 comma negative 4. So let's see, we have 2 negative 2 x sub 1, y sub 1 and 5 negative 4 x sub 2, y sub 2. So let's just plug it into our distance formula. If you want to use the, the Pythagorean theorem, you certainly can. But I'll set up my empty format here. I'm going to do that every time just to make sure I don't forget those minuses. x sub 2 minus x sub 1, y sub 2 minus y sub 1. A couple simplification steps here. 3 squared plus negative 4 minus negative 2 is negative 2 and we'll square that to get positive 4 so we have 9 plus 4 so the distance is the square root of 13 that can't be simplified anymore so that is our answer so there you go three examples on the distance formula in our next video we'll be tackling the midpoint formula so thanks for watching